Welcome to Time to Play, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Part 28. This is Ron Moore, along with Lens of Truth, 1689. Hello. So we are finally done with the freaking fell temple. As I'm trying to figure out how to play the sun song. Dang, there we go. I tend to stand outside playing the same song 48 times in order to get <laughs> things to happen. Yeah, I'm trying to get the fire arrows because I failed at getting it in the last part. Those fire arrows control pretty bad. Yeah. I thought I forgot the. Oh, I thought I didn't even get the sun song. That was so long ago. And oh, I got the sun song. Whoa, sky glitches out there. Ah, there's beautiful fire arrows. I can't remember that poem that, that is in the Sun Song tomb. It's like, uh, as the moon gives the sun its bed, give rest, full peace to the living dead or something like that. Like that. Oh, it's yeah. Been, yeah. Yeah. I forgot it too. Or something like that. You got the fire arrow! I used to think that was fake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now. Yeah, now we're going to go ahead and cut through all that and on no, our way to the Shadow Temple and what the heck? What the heck's going on here? Whoa. The village is on fire. Is on fire. As Link still wears his water tunic. You're lucky, Ron. In this game, water tunic doesn't give you issue with fire. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's Twilight Sheik. Princess, you take double damage when you're wearing a blue tunic with fire. Really? I did not know that. Okay. Whoa. What the heck was that? Well, that's not a wishing well. This totally reminds me of when you go to your basement, and when you come up from your basement, you have to always walk up the stairs really fast. Yeah. Because you don't want to be down there anymore. And you yeah, don't want anything to come at you. Yeah, really. that thing right there might get you. You don't belong here. Go back to Twilight Princess. Oh wait, that game hadn't come out yet. Then again, this is Ocarina of Time. Maybe this game came back, came from that period. Never mind. Yeah, like when he's got a chance with that thing. I like how they had to black it out because it just beat Link so hard. Yeah. The shadow pixelated the entire village. Okay, another elegant song playing as it would be probably third partied on the side of the video. How did Impa manage to seal the shadow into the bottom of the well in the first place? That's a good question. Because she's that tough. Like, she would have to be the combination of Link and Sheik in power in order to stop this thing. No, she was the, she is the protector of Zelda. Or babysitter, or whatever her job was. She had one job. I think just a while ago when uh, the shadow pwned Sheik and just threw her uh, him uh, around, um, you, <laughs> and you heard Sheik go, "Whoa!" That kind of gave indication that Sheik uh, might be a girl. <laughs> ah, I think you're just crazy. 
She's definitely a manly man. Now we're playing the Nocturne of Shadow, the Nocturnal, whatever her name was from Zcom. Back in high school, I made my computer play this song in beep code. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I like how Link just looks so fascinated. Uh, he looks at the ocarina as it as it all, uh, as it glitters and every time he learns a new song. Just like real life. As she once again throws a Deku nut and mysteriously disappears. And now we go here, play the Song of Storms, or I like to call it the Song of ECW. Wow, that Deku nut must have been really powerful. It turned you into a kid. Yeah. I love this song. I always love this song in this game. Now it's going dubstep. <laughs> This game has a very, very musical side to it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Wait a minute. If it's raining, shouldn't the water fill up even more? <laughs> hmm. This guy is so scary. <laughs> yeah, really, that's all he does, and... I think he does it for at least seven years. If you look at him as an adult, and you look at his eyes, he has no pupils. Huh. That is a creepy like, place to be. I mean, you go in there, even the game tells you... Uh, the game don't know what to tell you where you're at. Like, you, you know, it says Kikariko Village, or you're in the Fire Temple, or you're in Gerudo Valley. Here, it just says question mark. Like, we don't know where the heck you're at. Good luck. Yeah. All right, now, ooh, that's, yeah, you gotta be a brave kid to go into that darkness right there. I could not do this when I when I first got this game. I was so afraid of this part. Yeah, really. I mean, yeah. Interesting, if you have Link stand still for long enough, he actually sneezes and shivers. Oh, yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, I mean, Shadow Temple is... The scariest part of the game, whereas the water temple may be the most frustrating. But I still rather deal with the shadow temple, honestly. I think the water temple is misunderstood. It would be a little less frustrating if you didn't have to freaking pause and unpause a lot to equip your boots. I think they fixed that in Octavia Town 3D, if I heard correctly. They absolutely did. It's a lot nicer in Ocarina of Time 3D for that. That's good. I Although, was thinking, uh, sorry. I was gonna say, I was thinking like, why can't it be like in Mega Man X or in Mega Man games where you can just hit the L and R buttons to equip whatever you needed? That would be an interesting concept for Zelda. They've tried different things. Like they have in Skyward Sword, they have the uh, the selection where you hold the button and select for that. Yeah. And that's pretty cool, but you know. Alright, we go down here. Oh, there we go. It's already dark enough and hard to see down here, then of course this pixelation just makes it a little harder. <laughs> it's got the Pikachu, I mean the Bomb Chew, the Pokemon character in Zelda now. Yeah, I see it. That wall, it says something here. Danger below. That's what it says. <laughs> this thing don't know what it's talking about. Whoa! Oh, ouch. I guess it does know what it's talking about. So, Ron, now that we have downtime, I have a theory to bring up to you. I was okay. considering over the past couple days, do you think that the songs that Sheik knows that warp you, like the Prelude of Light and the Nocturne of the Shadow, for instance, do you think those were written by the Composer Brothers? Hmm. I don't know, it's a good question. 
What do you think? I've been more and more convinced that they have been written by the Composer Brothers because they work with the royal family. How do you think Zelda got the music that she got? And considering the Sun Song is a magical song that was written by the Composer Brothers, it's only natural. Yeah. There you go. Very interesting theory. The but conspiracy it is. theory? No. Do what? You gotta talk to the skeleton. Ask him what you gotta do. Yeah, but I remember what to do right here, so I need to do it. Go through one of the walls. And whoa. Ah, you can't get me. You suck. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> There are some angles that you can get eaten by that like like and he actually takes you through the gate. Really? Yeah. I'm not surprised. This game has so many bugs in it. And I'm not talking about the gold sculptures and the little bugs that you put inside the little holes. Little garden patches, whatever they are that seven years later become freaking flying lily pad. The remake is even worse for bugs. Oh man. Well, fail. I don't have a key. Oh, good job. In Dampy's grave, you can actually get infinite heart pieces. Wait, this one or the remake? In the remake. Wow. This this one wow. has infinite heart pieces too, but it's somewhere else. Hmm. And it's more of a glitch on the end of the player than the end of the game because you're not necessarily supposed to be able to get into the area that the glitch is. Yeah. Well, yeah, thanks for telling me that now. <laughs> you're a little late, Navi. Oops. <sighs> Got down here again. Whoa. I think it's been this part of the... of the failed part of the dungeon. And I mean fail is on my part where you mess up and you fail and you fall down here. Play the sun song. To freeze the re-deads or the redeads or whatever they're called. I always used to do that when I was little because I didn't want to have to run past the zombies and get screamed at. Yeah. I was wondering about that. Like, is it really them sc screaming or is it uh, in a sense, so a woman screaming, indicating that they're scary, and that they're so scary that they make you freeze in fear. It's weird. Good question. I would assume, since they're magical creatures, they don't have a specific gender, nor do they have a specific type of, um, you know, um, uh, species. Yeah. So it'd be perfectly logical for them to scream like a woman. Yeah. Uh, wrong coffin. Ouch. Put away the stick. Put it away. It's gonna it's gonna light some keys on fire. Put it away. <laughs> I forgot which uh, coffin the key is in. And it's not that one. You're just taking a deeper grave. Yeah, I get it. Deeper grave coffins. <clears throat> What'd you say? I was coughing. <laughs> <laughs> I want my mummy. I fail. Alright, there we go, the he. It's already there, well I didn't even have to open up that coffin, <laughs> did I? Fail. Alright. I wanna freeze these on my deal dealing with them. Extreme close up. Yeah really. Back up. It'd be cool if there was the moon song, but then again, what purpose does that serve, I guess? <laughs> They're all on fire now, look at this. <laughs> that was some skill. Yeah. Alright, I'm going here. Look who's come crawling back. Whoa, I almost forgot about that. 
Ah, oh, dang it, I was trying to do the jump attack and I hit the wrong freaking button. Still, ah, oh, now you do it. <laughs> now you do it and he freaking rises up. There we go. Seriously, those things are freaky. Imagine those jumping right in your face in real life. That's got to be the scariest thing anybody's ever got to face. I think I'd pass out. Yeah. Of course, they're the scariest thing in this game, not this. What the heck is this? Whoa. What the heck? Oh, Bear 13 makes his appearance now in Ocarina of Time. I know it's Dead Hand. Well, oh, come on, give him a hand. <laughs> how, how could this boss not make the game rated M? Yeah, really, what is it, a, a freaking bloody corpse? It's like a pile of corpses. It's like fat. Yeah, I don't really. even know. Freaking creepy, man. This is like God of War stuff. And the way its jaw just extends as long as it needs to. Yeah, really. It just kind of dance, hula dances towards you. What the heck? It's freaking creepy. And the noise it makes. Yeah. Dang it, what, it had me 10 hits? Okay, that is a disgusting boss. I'm pretty sure that this pretty much traumatized my childhood. <laughs> oh, even the way he dies is just so disgusting. And he twitches too after he dies. Yeah. I'd rather do that thing than tingle. <laughs> I think Tingle to me is still the scariest Zelda character I ever came across. Alright, look. I see you. You got the Linzer Truth 1689. Mysterious things are hidden everywhere. Look through the Linzer Truth to check out Linzer Truth Majora's Mask. Let's play. <laughs> Can this plug? That's a shameful plug. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I don't need to go in here, but I feel like it, and the door's over here, you idiot. Bombos. No, I meant to hit the keys. Alright, fine, you wanna get blown up? Ow. You get set on fire in return. Yeah. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. It's a good thing Link's not a mean kid because he'll use that lens of truth as a magnifying glass and burn things. Maybe Dark Link, Dark Kid Link would. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Oh, shoot. I forgot about this thing. Hold on. Let me. Oh, well. Great. Like, 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 dislike, dislike. Sorry? I said this is this is a dislike, dislike. <laughs> World leaders and shield eaters have many likes alike. Oh shoot, no, no, no. Oh, oh good, didn't get me. Nice. That's almost as ugly as the boss that just fought. But back to what I was saying before I got pwned. Um, you know, why, why would the game have you fight Dark Link? in the water temple, it would make more sense to fight Dark Link as the boss in the well, in, in this dungeon. Hmm. But anyway. Maybe because this dungeon had too many good ideas for it already and they didn't want to overpack it. Yeah, I guess. Now as I warp back to the temple of... I failed, that's it's not the right song to warp the temple of time. It's okay, you're just playing Majora's Mask. Yeah. There we go. Probably the only song in the game I think we don't have to use the A button. Pretty much. Well, at least when it comes to the Whoa. longer songs. Yeah. All right, back to back to the Temple of Toym, and back to it as Adult Link. 
Going go ahead and warp back to the graveyard. The graveyard. And I the shadow song already and nocturnal shadow. Like nocturnal fail. What is it again? Okay, there we go. That's right. Dun, dun, ECW. Sounds kind of creepy because you know it's supposed to be a dark song, it's a sh you know shadow song or whatever. It's slow and ominous. Yeah. All right, uh, back to the graveyard. Okay, I want to go ahead and equip the green tunic again. Cause yeah. All right, now I'm myself again. And besides, that freaking water tunic brings back bad memories. Yep. This is a cool way to get into a dungeon. Just like all the, all the torches at the same time. Okay, guys, in the comments below, I want you to tell me: Did you try to light these torches with the fire arrow? <laughs> it must have been frustrating if someone did that. I will tell you right now, I tried. Wow. Alright, well. We will see you guys in part 29. Thanks, Linda Truth, for joining us. No problem. And in part 29, we'll, we'll go through the Shadow Temple. Until then, God bless and take care. See you later.